Howdy YouTube, and for today's video I got something a little different. This is a Electronica MK52 new old stock Soviet built calculator from I believe uh, it would either be the 80s or maybe early early 90s um, I would assume late 80s I don't have a whole lot of information about this I can't read a lot of the text that's on here but I've seen it work it runs off a of standard AA batteries which I have so we could actually use it and uh, mess around with it I thought it was cool I found ordered this from I believe the Czech Republic I think this came from um, so yeah you got so this is brand new uh, if anyone can read that you can go right ahead and take a look at all of that information but uh, from what I do understand this electronica or at least that's how I spell it when I type it in um, when it's written out in English I don't know if that's how you say it but um, they made a lot of watches um, calculators and little digital games they took I don't know if they ripped them off or if they just got them and re relabeled them but they had Nintendo game and watches they would bring in they didn't have um, Nintendo IPs like characters from what I've seen maybe I'll get one of those one of these days but there's like simple game where you're catching eggs and whatnot but uh, anyways let's not waste any more time let's crack this open here so yes this is brand new I haven't even opened it I just took this out of the shipping thing I've had it for a little bit now and I've been waiting to do a video so let's open that so but I was very fascinated in this kind of stuff just because it's very different from what was being obviously released over here during that time because it's two completely different types of uh, economies and markets and everything. So here's the power adapter, which I don't really need. I don't think, I don't know if I'm going to take it out of that, but there's the odd end. I've never seen a connector like that, um, but it definitely isn't, yeah, for something brand new, it's definitely not, you know, I don't know how to explain it. Just, it's not, um, I don't know. Yeah, I suppose quality is the word. So you got some things here. Let's see what this is. Actually, I do not know what this is. Oh, oh, it's some chocolate. Oh, the, <laughs> the person who sent this to me, I didn't know, sent me some chocolate. That's, ac that's awesome. I did, I did not expect that. I love dark chocolate. Um, some milk chocolate this must be it's probably a lot better than stuff we can get here in the states um, from what I understand there's kind of a some tricky stuff going on with the way we do chocolate or the market of it or who controls what or the regulations I'm not sure but anyways that's cool thank you that I had no idea that was in there I do not think this originally came with the uh, thing so the guy thankfully it didn't <laughs> melt in there Jesus Christ Anyways, all right, let's see what else is in here. I think this looks like the calculator. Okay. So here is the manual, which isn't going to be too much use for me or some manuals. Oh, wow. God, they feel so... It's almost like slightly thicker, like, toilet paper. Oof, that's like a... Feels like, um, like a paperback book, like an elementary school kind of cheaper... But yeah, this kind of shows all the different functions. I'm not, yeah, this is not very useful to me at all. Um, I plan on, oh, like a, what are these? Oh, it's electronic schematics. So if you want, is that what this is? Oh, wow. I can't fit this all enough. I want to rip it. This is very fragile paper. Wow. Oh, look at this. It's like, obviously it's printed, but it's like handwritten notes that's neat yeah look at all that i don't even understand that but um i'll try to get as much of that in the... that's interesting Let's focus hold that back up nicely here yeah this is very it's a very weird feeling because it's soft it's very soft feeling um but but dry if that makes any sense Sorry, I'm having trouble folding this. There we go. That's good enough. Alright, put that over there. 
And yeah, I don't know what the difference between these two manuals are, but um, there's some pages if people are interested. And then here's another folded piece of paper. This is another weird feeling textured paper. It's like, um, a, yeah, it's like a paper bag. It's like almost the same material like a paper bag would be made out of. Um, yeah, some more information I cannot read. Um, some electrical gib gab. All right, interesting. Let's just clean this up here a little bit. Let's put it back in the frame. And then I think the last thing in here is the calculator, which is a lot bigger than I expected. Um, wow. And I got this blue. There's a bunch of different colors I've seen of this type of model, but I've never seen this blue one until um, I came across this one. So let's, before we open it up. So yeah, it comes in a nice case. So yes, uh, like I said, it runs on batteries as well as uh, a standard wall. Or not not standard for me, but like a wall jack. Um, looks like this is where the batteries would go, I think. Yep. Is where the batteries go so let's do that now actually before we open it up so yeah it takes standard double a batteries so that let's look at those yeah those don't look like the well, actually i'm not an expert so i guess I, i'm not going to comment on the quality of those parts but they definitely don't look the best um yeah anyways let's get some no these aren't soviet batteries these are just some energizers. So I think it looks like I need like four of them. So let's put these in here. Ooh, I don't wanna... Tight fit. All right, come on. Is that, am I doing this right? Yeah. Okay, let's try. Let's go like that. Oh wow. <laughs> they are definitely a tight fit. Holy hell. What? Standard. Oh yeah, it's standard. Double A batteries, that's what I was. Hold. I think this spring's just. Please don't break this. <laughs> Unless these batteries are too big, but it's, it's yeah standard. The double A's are supposed to use. Um, and, uh, bear with me here. There we go. All right. I just had to, all right, perfect. Then it's like a glove. <clears throat> Let's put these back on here. Try not to, this doesn't feel like the best plastic in the world either. It's very, very creaky. Um, Oops, all right, so, all right, so it doesn't look like it's a hinge cover, which I didn't think it was. Um, all right, so let's take this off here, and we've got the device here, very, it, ooh, those keys, they don't even, like, feel like they press down. Oh, that's, that's odd. Okay, let's see if we can figure out how to turn this on. There we go. And we have power, so yeah, it looks like these numbers are pretty in terms of the symbols are standard. So let's do five. Oh, yeah, they press. Oh, that's a weird feeling. All right, so where is C? All right, so let's do 55 plus 66. And is this equals? Nope. That's just zero, zero. All right, let's do five plus, f no, stop. <laughs> five 
five. I would read the manual, but five. All right, hold on. C, is this what I think it does? All right, let's do five plus five equals, nope. Nope, so it says zero, zero. Let's do five plus five. Okay, I just hit the plus again. It goes 10. All right, well, that seems to be it. So let's do multiplication. Let's do 5 times 5. Nope, that says 0. All right, 5 times. No. All right, 5 times 5. Nope. Um. Let's see what these other functions do. Let's see. What's F? This. <laughs> Alright, let's turn off. On. Five. Times. No, five. Equals zero. See, that's not the equal sign. I need to figure out what the equal sign is. This. That's negative. All right. Oh, okay. I see. Um, five times five. Twenty. Yeah. Okay. Now it's new one. Okay. That was weird. Five times five. No. Five times five. Five minus six. Negative. This is confusing me. <laughs> Seven times nine. No. What's the equal? <laughs> uh, this is... Again, I wasn't planning on this being useful. I just thought it would be a neat video. Some people might be curious. But in terms of weight, especially with the batteries, it's heavy. It feels... I don't know if sturdy is the word. It has a, it's just a weird, it has a weird kind of thing going for it. But there's that. Oh, now I can get things to multiply by time, by five again. All right, let's, I don't know what these other, fun, these are probably scientific functions. I don't even know how to use <laughs> the scientific functions on a American calculator. Huh. Um, times, do I have to hit first? So let's do five, six times six. No, clear, F, clear, three times three, no, three, three times, no, why is that just putting it to zero? Oof da, oof da, this is, and then now, okay, so maybe there's a different mode I have to be in, five, no, five times, why is it all right well then that is as far as i can get in this video <laughs> showing this thing off because i genuinely five plus five ten i can do that times so i'm timesing it by huh let's do six divided by and that just brings it back to zero Three. Zero. Okay. K, I don't know what K does, but makes the thing flash. Ah, well then. Either this isn't functioning properly, or I do not know what I'm doing. Uh, probably a... Well, it seems to every time you hit... Well, never mind that. Anyways, all right. Well, no sense in just rambling on, flicking buttons any longer. Um, let's put this lid back on. Be a cool thing. Just keep on a desk, maybe, or I'll just resell it, perhaps. Um, but yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you found this at all interesting, uh, well then.